It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about screen pinning on an Android phone. So, screen pinning is where you pin an app to you, the screen of your Android phone, and that means it the, you can't go out of the app. So, if someone wants to borrow your phone to make a phone call or something, or you want to let someone play a game on your phone, or you're showing someone a photo on your phone, and you want to make sure they can't access anything else on your phone while they're doing that, then you can pin the screen to your phone, and that means they have to stay in that app. And then when, when they give it back to you, you can just enter your passcode or your pattern or even use your face or fingerprint, and then you'll be able to go out of that app and do anything you want again. So it can be really convenient if you're sharing your phone with someone or letting them do something on your phone. So th that's really cool. And in this episode, Timmy's gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, you will need to go into the settings app of your phone, because you'll need to set up the ability to do screen pinning. So once you're in settings, scroll down until you find security and tap on security. And then right down at the bottom here where you see advanced, tap on advanced and then scroll down here to where it says screen pinning and underneath it says off. So tap on screen pinning. And then you need to turn on screen pinning. So tap on that switch and screen pinning will now be on. And there's the option here to ask for unlock pattern before unpinning. And that means you, you have to actually enter your pattern rather than just being able to unpin. So that can be good if you want to keep people inside the app. So then once you've done that, you'll just need to open any app you want. So if you just open the calculator app, you'll then need to go into the overview view of all your apps. So if your phone uses the three button navigation where there's a home button and then the square button and then a back button, tap on the square button. Or if your phone uses this new gesture navigation, slide up from the bottom until you feel, feel it vibrate. And then it's like this, so you can go and see other past apps and close them if you want. So once you've done that, you'll need to hold down on the icon up here of that app. So you can see the settings app has the settings icon and this app has this icon. So hold down on that icon. And then you get this menu, split screen and pause app and stuff. But you'll see this new option here that's appeared since we enabled that setting that says pin. So if you tap pin, it will say here screen is pinned. So you can tap got it. And so now the screen is pinned, so if you tr try to swipe up, if you're using this navigation, or press on the home button with the older style, it will not work at all. You will not be able to leave the app. You can you do stuff in the app perfectly fine, and that'll all work, but you cannot leave the app. And you cannot pull down the notification shade or see the time or anything. It's just stuck in that app, so you can only use that app. And then if you want to unpin, if you use the three dot navigation, hold down on the square button, or if you want to unpin from the gesture navigation, so just swipe up and hold, and now it will re return to your lock screen, and you'll have to actually use your pattern or pin or your face or fingerprint to unlock the phone again, and then the screen will be unpinned. So if Timmy unlocks it now, you'll now see that it's still in the calculator, calculator app, but the screen is unpinned, so you can just go home like you normally would. So that's really cool. So that's a really cool, helpful feature. And if you found value in this video, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button. And that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy.